Hey guys, Rindon here with TJ Free, and in this video, I want to quickly give you a tour of my Linux desktop that I use to make video tutorials. So this is Linux Mint. You can see the LM in the bottom left-hand corner. It's laid out very similar to Windows. I know a lot of you are maybe Windows users or Mac users, and you maybe don't have a whole lot of experience using Linux, but I just want to show that it's a very similar experience to using Windows. Um, so for example, this is the File Explorer. So I click on my home directory, and it just shows the different files and folders that I have. I have the shortcuts on the side, like I can jump to music or pictures or videos or go to my downloads directory and see what's in the downloads. Um, we have a nice start menu here we can click on and we can go through and see what different accessories we have, like a calculator comes pre-built in. We can do some, uh, you know, different math here. Uh, I guess what I really want to show is a lot of the same things that you would find uh, in a Windows. Um, you're going to find also in Linux. So it comes with good calendar tools and some of these basic tools. Uh, it'll always come with a uh, web browser. This one has Firefox. And then you can uh, install more uh, later as well. Uh, I don't know why it's not bringing up a web page. Um, so if you're just doing internet, I mean, it doesn't really matter what operating system you use for the most part. Uh, you can have different windows open. It has the tiling too. So if we left click and drag this over, it'll tile that to the right hand side. We can left click and tile this over here. So we can have different things. It has this intelligent tiling, which I kind of like and use a lot. When you minimize, it just goes down and shows you in the dock down here. So we have our calendar open. We can zoom in here and take a look at that. And if we hover over, it'll just show us an example of what it is. Um, so I hope you're seeing that a lot of this is probably similar to what you're already um, using. In the bottom right hand, we have a clock and a calendar we can click on. We have sound settings. We can turn the volume up and down. Uh, we can also get into more of the sound settings, and we can see our input that we're using and the output. We can set up different sounds for when certain things happen um, in the operating system. Um, this icon here shows me things that are plugged in. So I have certain removable devices like USB drives uh, or network shares. And then this here, when we click on this, it brings up and tells us um, if we need to have some updates. So there are updates. I'm not going to do them right now, but I need to um, apply updates. And this also has uh, automatic updates to keep it secure and to make sure the software is always running uh, the way it's supposed to and running at, a, at one of the later versions of the software. Which brings me to the next thing is you have this nice software manager. So it has a nice graphical user interface. And just about anymore, I guess I should mention, a lot of people think that this is Linux. So you open up and you have to do this command line stuff, you know, and like figure out what's going on. But um, really, this is just uh, not true anymore. You really don't even have to ever type any commands in. You can just uh, install software from the package manager and use everything from the graphical user interface. And very rarely will you ever have to do anything, if ever, from the uh, command line or the terminal or the console, as it's called. Um, but this package manager I wanted to show you, if you want to install Blender, for example, you just click on Blender and click Install. It tells you about it, what it is. It's a free 3D modeling program. Everything in here is free. Everything in the App Store here is free, uh, to my knowledge. There's been talk of maybe certain Linux distributions. This is Linux Mint. I think Ubuntu might have some things that they sell in the App Store. Um, but just great things if you want to games, you click on games, you look through, they have different ratings and reviews, you can scroll down and find a good game, Mind Test, my kids play all the time, it's similar to Minecraft, um, it's a cool it's a cool game, um, you got card games and all kinds of different things, and then you can, oh look, you can even sort them by board games, first person shooters, uh, the best thing is these are all just free if you want to give it a try, Hedge Wars is sort of like the game Worms, so you attack different people and you can shoot a gun, remember that old game like Tank? I think it was called. Anyway, you click install and this will just uh, ask for your password and then install. I'm not gonna install it now. But this package manager is really, really nice way to uh, manage all the software installed on your system. Um, and there's some things that you might not expect. I think there's like Skype and Dropbox and some things that are, um, you can do Steam for example. So if you are into games, you can do Steam. Like I play Dota 2 on Linux. Um, there's really good gaming support. Uh, for Steam. A lot of the Steam games you can play on Linux. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, that might just be about everything. I'll show you. This is a virtual machine I'm using here. And so I have uh, 8 gig of RAM, a 60 gig hard drive. The minimum I think is like 10 
I don't even recommend that. You gotta you gotta have a little bit. Twenty gig hard drive maybe. Uh, you can even have like as little as two, one or two gig of RAM, um, and then at least a dual core processor would be nice, but it's not essential. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show. Y you can uh, right click here and you can go change desktop background. So if you want to look different, you just click on this and you can have obviously different different backgrounds. You can change the uh, interface. I have a dark theme right now, but you can change it to be lighter and change the colors of these folders. Very customizable. Um, if you want to learn more, you can go to uh, Linux Mint. Uh, so just do a Google search or a DuckDuckGo search for Linux Mint. And uh, this is the distribution I'm using. And it's a good it's a good one for uh, if you're just getting started. I think I have a video teaching how to do this. If not, I'll release one soon. You just go to Downloads, and you can download. I would recommend the Cinnamon 64-bit. You download it. It's a larger file, um, 2 gigs. And so you download this, you need to write it to some sort of media, like a, a USB stick, and then you reboot your computer and install. And the nice thing is you can install Linux Mint um, on, a, on an external hard drive if you wanted. You could install it uh, on a different partition on your hard drive. Um, so you could have Windows, you can dual boot, as they call it, into Windows and Linux. So some days you can be running Linux, and other days you can be running Linux, uh, uh, Windows. And so... Um, yeah, anyway, you can learn more at uh, Linux Mint, uh, and I'll include the link in the description of this video. Uh, leave your questions and comments below if you have any. I'm sure there's something I, I missed in here, but uh, I look forward to catching you in another video.